this is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Sony RX100 Mark IV, obviously the fourth generation of Sony's pocket high-end camera with a one-inch backside illuminated sensor, stacked sensor this time. This is not the full review. We're going to have that separately. I'd like to spend a lot of time shooting and testing with cameras before we put that out, but this is the demo of the new high frame rate or slow motion video recording. Now we put up a quickie, a little waterfall video without much explanation for people who are already familiar with the idea of the camera. This is for everybody so they can understand it more clearly. And there's three different speeds you can do. 240 frames per second, 480 frames per second, 960 frames per second here in NTSC land, not PAL, so US, not Europe. Anyway, so we're getting different speed variations of slowness going through, and you can see the quality is going to degrade the slower that you get too, and you can see the difference in the effect. So that's what we're going to show you right now. Now, this camera does not record audio when it records slow motion video. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover to explain what's going on, what you're looking at, and all that sort of thing. But for those of you who are recording, recording it, get ready to make your background music tracks come alive for this kind of video. Anyway, let's take a look at it now. So now we're going to go from, relatively speaking, the fastest and highest quality video to the slowest and also lowest quality, starting out with 240 frames per second, which is the equivalent of 4x slowdown. And the quality here is pretty good. And you do have a noticeable slowdown effect. It's pretty fun. Now, Sony says this is near full HD, which would be near 1080p quality. They're a little coy, they don't say exactly. And now we're switching to 480 frames per second, 8x slowdown, which Sony says is near HD, which means 720p quality. More profound slowdown effect here, and also the quality has degraded. You can see less color saturation, a bit more blockiness. Still cute, still usable, still kind of fun. And lastly, we're going to go to the full slowdown, which is 960 frames per second. Worst quality overall, I'm guessing this is like 360p effective quality here. Blocky, noisy, but really seriously slowed down. Now, of course, since our base rate is 60p recording here, that's where we get our multiples. If you divide 960 by 60, you get the actual slowdown amount. You could do this at 30p as well and get even more slowdown, up to 32x. Here, the cat is kicking. Anybody who knows cats knows that they kick real quickly here at the hand under the rug, but it looks like he's treading slowly underwater. By the way, the RX100 Mark IV outputs the high frame rate video at 1080p resolution. Even if it's really recording and upsampling in the end, you're going to get 1080p resolution clips. So not bad for a pocket camera, albeit one that does cost $1,000.